Hey everyone, it's me, Miss French, the art teacher here with project number four. Can you believe camp has already been four weeks of camp already? Well, this week we get to make ourselves a horse puppet. And it's going to have a mane and a tail and some really stiff legs. So let me go ahead and switch my camera so we can get started. <laughs> All right. So again, we get to use some more chipboard because it's so easy to use and a lot of fun. And we're going to draw two ovals and a triangle to make our uh, the horse's body and the head on our chipboard. So let me go ahead and move this one out the way. And let me go over the supplies you need. You need two pipe cleaners, a bamboo skewer. I'm no, uh, we don't need the tape. We need a hole puncher, and we need glue, and of course some wiggle eyes. Oops, wrong wiggle eyes. Those were my human wiggle eyes. Hold on. Nope, human. I think it'll look weird a horse with human eyes. All right. Nope, those aren't the same. Are they the same size? Yeah, they're the same size. All right. So wiggle eyes. Bamboo skewer, this, and our chipboard, and of course your pencil, but I'm going to use a marker to make sure everyone can see my lines. So the first thing I'm going to do is draw an oval for the body, a big fat oval. It doesn't have to be horse shaped, unless you're like got a little more art skills, you could do that. And then over here, I'm going to draw another oval for the head. It looks like I drew close there, so I'm going to just turn my paper around and put an ear shape here and then I can just um uh cut it out and of course that's the next step we're going to cut out our ovals so what I like to do is make it easy just cut out big shapes and then I can cut around the little shapes cut off the big parts I don't need make it easier for yourself Put my paper, my scraps in the scrap pile. And now I'm going to follow the lines. And there we go. There's one. And then I'm going to follow. Oops. When I came off, I was on the inside of the line, which is pretty fine. Does it doesn't matter. If you want to cut off the black lines, or if you just want to draw them on both sides just so that you have them, that's totally up to you. I'll go ahead and cut trim a little bit more. Just to show you can see how it looks. So here's my head. Here's my body. So now we're going to need two holes at the bottom for the legs. One, two. We're going to need one hole where the neck is going to go to attach to the head. And we're going to need one hole for the tail and the string to our puppet goes. Right there. So that's four holes on the body. Now for the head... We're going to need a hole back here behind the ear for the mane. We're going to need a hole here at the bottom for the neck. And we're going to need another hole here to get... Oop, oh, I made that a little close. Uh-oh. I made that one mess up. So it's right there. I didn't push it in far enough. But you know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to make another hole right beside it and make sure it's a little further down. And I will just cover that up with some yarn. Uh, sometimes you make mistakes and you just keep going. All right. So first things first, I'm going to go ahead and make the legs. I'm going to take my pipe cleaner, first one, and I'm just going to fold it in half. And stick it through one of the holes at the bottom. And then I'm going to go back through and wrap it around. And that's going to keep the legs in. And one might be a little shorter, but it's okay. 
what I'm going to do, I'm going to bend it and make a little foot in this one. I'm going to bend it. And then the cool thing about pipe cleaners, if you use the back of the scissors, they cut right off. And so now my the front legs aren't on. Or the back legs. No, they're going to be the front. Yeah, these are the front legs. So that's the neck and that's the tail. All right. So let me do the next one again. Fold it in half. And stick it through the leg holes. And then take one in and go back through. And this is going to keep them from falling off. And again, and one's just a little bit longer. So you know what you can do? After I get them through, if you want to do that before, I'm just going to make them the same size. Then bend my feet. There we go. So now my horse has legs. <gasps> it's standing up. <laughs> now, I'm going to make the tail and the mane for our horse. Now, to do that... We're going to need some yarn. And just like in the last project, we used a lot of yarn. I'm going to get one, two, three, four good arm lengths of yarn. And I'm going to wrap it around my hand. So my forefinger, I'm not going to wrap it around tight. Just going to wrap, wrap, keep wrapping it around to make a really bushy lane. This is, might be a little too much. Maybe we should do probably do three. But since I already got four, I'm going to get four. Now, I'm going to cut off a little bit of this yarn right here, just a little piece. And I'm going to take these off my fingers, and I'm going to stick this through. Take your time. Now that I stuck this through, I'm going to tie it. And again, Miss Branch likes to use three knots. So one, two, three. The reason why I use three knots is because in the past, when I've just done one or two knots, it's always coming loose. So now I'm going to go here to where the tail is going to be, and I'm going to put the string through. And again, I'm going to tie this here. And I'm going to tie this with three knots. One, Two, three. And I don't even have to cut the extra off. And I can take my scissors and go through that loop and cut. And now I have a tail. And I'm going to do the same thing for the mane. Now, the mane doesn't have to be as bushy as the tail. Now, I did four. Oh, I missed one. Four um, long arm pulls for the tail. So I think I'll just do three for the mane. So one, two, three. And again, you're going to wrap them around your hand. Just wrap. And it doesn't have to be tight. Wrap, 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 wrap around. wrap around wrap around wrap around and when you get almost to the end i'm going to cut that little piece off and why i still have it on my fingers making a loop i'm gonna stick it through it that way i won't get caught up like i did on the on the main and now i'm going to tie it with my three knots one two And three. It looks like one of my um, loops came loose. So I'm just going to trim it. I got to cut this loop anyway while I have the loop. I'm going to cut it this time. So it's a little easier. I have one extra long one. And again, now I'm going to send those through the um, hole at the back of the ear. So that's going to be the main. So, of course. Oops, stick it through. And tie. One. Two. Three. And again, I don't have to cut the extra off. Because now 
I have a main. Oh, I missed another loop. I felt it when I was in there. There it is. I'm going to go ahead and snip that. And now, let's see. I'm going to move my little extra out the way. I'm going to get a piece for the head and neck. I'm going to make it a little long because I'm going to tie them. And so the neck piece, I'm going to through the bottom of the head. I'm going to tie. And these pieces, I probably will trim. One. Two. Three. And then I'm going to go ahead over here and. Let's see how long do I want. I don't want it long like a giraffe. So I'm going to bring it down. So I think it's a good size neck for a horse. And now I'm going to tie one, two, three. And then I'm going to cut this little extra piece off. And now I have my horse's head and body done. Now, and while I'm thinking about it, I'm going to go ahead and glue my wiggly eyes on. Then I'm going to cut the string that go on the skewer. All right. So let me go ahead. Ugh. And this time I'm going to try getting it on the glue stick. And put my eye. And then on the other side. I'll try and match them up. So then I have I and I. So I, oh, I get stuck to my finger. I and I. There we go. So I have my eyes on. So I'm going to lay my horse to the side to let the glue start to dry. And I'm going to get the bamboo skewer. So now I need to get one, two good arm lifts. And I'm going to bring the two ends together. And then I'm going to cut. Now, even though I know this is really, really long string, because I know I'm going to tie it, and then I'm going to cut the extra off. So this is really long string. But I don't need to use all of it. So it's okay if I have a little extra just to make sure. So at one end, I'm going to tie... And again, one, two, three, and cut the extra. And then I'm going to do the same thing on this end. One, two, three. Now, another reason why I make the strings so long is because the, t the head is higher than the tail. So I don't want to always make sure I have enough string to tie them. So I'm going to slide this down. I'm going to put my yarn here. And I want to be able to stand up and hold it. I don't want to have to, like, bend over and um, um, while, I'm while I'm moving my puppet. So I'm going to go ahead and stick it through the other hole. Because remember, I um cut it too close. So I had to make a second hole. And I'm going to pull this one for, this is the front one. And I'm going to pull it through. But I'm not going to tie it just yet. I'm not going to tie it just yet. Because I want to tie. Uh-oh, I'm all tangled up in the other puppet. Uh-oh, that happens. All right, so let me slowly pull the string out and let me move the puppet further away. And now I'm going to tie this one through the hole where the um, mane is, the tail, not the mane. And I'm going to poke that through. And I'm going to go ahead and tie this one. I'm going to pull a little bit through. But again, I think I did a little bit long string. So one, two, 
three and I don't have to, I can cut some of it. I don't have to cut the whole thing because it will blend right in with the mane. I mean the tail. And now I'm going to switch my camera so you can see this part. So now I'm going to hold it up and see where I need to, uh-oh, I guess it's really long. I think I need to stand up now. Oh, my pocket. <laughs> There's something in my pocket. It was a napkin. Anyway, so I need to make sure oh, that I can get the head up. And so what I need to do, you might need to get a partner and help you with this part. So then that I have the head, I need to pull the string through a little bit more. And so that the head will stay up. As you can see, I now have to pull and pull some more. There we go. I have the tail up. I'm wrapping the extra um, string around so my tail will be up. I don't want to cut it just yet. All right. So now, now I have it up. Now I can tie it. Now I know where to tie it. So now I can come back and I'm going to switch cameras again. And I'm going to go ahead. I don't need all this extra long string part. So I'm going to cut it to make it easier to tie. And then I'm going to tie it. And I get one, two, and three. And so now my puppet, oh, let me get it untangled around the foot. My puppet is able to stand up and the head is just perfect. Yay. Well, he's all up into the camera. Hey, how are you? I'm looking at you. Woohoo. <laughs> so anyway, let me replace the pen again. Anyway, everyone. This is our horse, our four, week four puppet. And his head seems to be keep turning. There we go. Um, let me turn that way. There we go. Anyway, I look forward to looking, um, working with you guys in week five, our last week of camp already. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.